now we are starting with the jayandra movement this part i'm going to divide it into three small parts for our convenience the first part of this is what i told you earlier we are going to discuss about all the important court judgments i'll tell you the constitutional basis for it how the courts have interpreted and why how the judgments were given right from the judgment that we discussed in 1969 third january judgment only we are going to discuss all the judgments the second part of it is obviously the jayandra movement the courts of the jayandra movement anni manak important gaadu we are not going to discuss it as detailedly as we discussed in 1969 but yes there will be a few events that are important and we are going to compare 1969 versus 1971 i'm also going to tell you the causes of the jayandra movement obviously the trigger for jayandra movement is the court judgment but apart from the trigger there are several causes most important was how prime uh, uh, pv narsimha rao governed the state so idi second topic the third topic will be the end of jayandra movement which is with the six point formula now six point formula again the same story will be there six point formula followed by constitutional amendment and to implement this constitutional amendment you will have a presidential order to implement this presidential order you have several geos okay so this whole course we are going to discuss towards the end today and tomorrow we will complete this first let me start with the court judgments court judgments are koncham uh, ante you should be a little attentive because it is all interpretative okay now we will first look at what all has led to the court judgments see when we look at the constitution there are two important articles that have resulted in this judgment in fact three important articles the first is article 16 clause 3 the second is article 35 the third is article 372 Two. Okay. Now, 16 clause 3 basically deals with residence-based reservation. It says residence-based reservation can be provided for by whom? By Parliament. By law. only parliament will have the power to provide a residence based reservation and the parliament has to make a separate law in simpler words it means that local reservation to be provided by parliament states do not have the power to provide okay now the problem is the article is only saying that reservation based on residence will be given by parliament but it is not specifying whether this article is applicable to the entire state or a part, part of the state i repeat in a state if you want to give residence based reservation who has the power to give it parliament why because we have single citizenship india is a country where we provide single citizenship that is the reason now where should can we give it only to a part of the state or should we give it to the entire state is not specified okay now when it comes to court interpretations some judges have interpreted it as should be applicable to entire state some judges interpret it as can be applied to part of 
state ante it means that parliament can provide local reservation by law only for one region within state parliament must provide local reservation by law for the entire state you cannot do it for a single region these are the two interpretations wherever the court interpreted entire state mulki becomes why because mulki was applicable only to telangana region only one part of the state wherever the court felt that it can be applied to part of the state mulki becomes valid but what is mulki here we are referring to this is basically in reference to ap employment rules 19 59 it is with reference to 1959 wherever the court interpreted entire state they declared that ap employment rules 1959 are invalid wherever the court interpreted that it is possible to apply it to one part of the state this becomes valid are you clear with this article i'll exp explain how the court interpreted in every specific case can ikkad is this clear is this interpretation clear this article is basically saying you can give local reservation but it is not saying whether it should be to the entire state or part of a state the judge if he interprets as entire state then local reservation in Tel telangana will become invalid the judge if he interprets that it can be apply to a part of the state then local reservation for telangana becomes valid okay in the first article second article is 35 35 basically has two clauses clause a clause b 35 clause a says when it comes to rules related to two things one is property the second is public employment see basically many princely states were integrated with indian union before integration many princely states had their own reservations and rules related to property and public employment all those rules related to property and public employment which was which was in force in these princely states will continue to be in force even after they are integrated with indian union okay so b says these rules to be enforced to be continued to be enforced okay even after merger with indian union ante what rules is given under clause a how will they be applied is given under clause b clause a says rules related to property and public employment in princely states clause b says will continue to be in force even after integration of princely states into indian union am i clear with this 372 basically says parliament may repeal or replace rules in force in former princely states okay however it continues and says until then these rules will be in place these three articles form the basis for all interpretations by the court put then the marchi for your understanding i'll simplify it first point you should remember is we had princely states pune nen cheppinde i'm organizing it for you in these princely states there were specific rules related to what one is property the other is related to public employment now the question is yes we have rules related to property and public employment in princely states but what happened these princely states will are integrated into 
Indian Union. Now the question is what will happen to these rules and regulations? So what will happen to these rules? Okay. For which the answer is 35A and B say they will continue to be in force. Are we clear with this? 39A and B say they continue to be in force. The same thing is also given under section 119 of State Reorganization Act. States Reorganization Act was basically enacted on the recommendations of the Fazal Ali Commission, 1956, in which also it was very clearly said that you are integrating princely states into Indian Union, you have to protect the interests of the princely states, therefore all these rules will continue to be in force. So section 19 also tells the same thing. If you don't do, in the, then the next question that we ask is, does it mean that these rules will continue to be in force forever? Obviously that would be the question to which the answer is, will continue until Parliament repeals or replaces them. Are we clear with this? So until parliament repeals or replaces them, they will continue to be in force. This is given under article 372. So are we clear with the flow of events? Is this clear? 16 does not come here. 16 basically comes in the context that Telangana is a region within Andhra Pradesh. And according to 16 clause 3, only parliament has the power to give local reservation. But constitution is not clear whether this reservation should be given across the state or only in one region of the state. If the judge feels that it should be given across the state, then mulki rules will become invalid. If the judge feels that the, it should be given only in Telangana, then the mulki rules become valid. Now listen, what happened next is we had, if you remember, we had the center enacting the Employment Act which was applicable to the Andhra Pradesh and other states. It's public Employment Rules on Local Reservation Act. Dini based just konya rules osthai. I gave this to you. Local Reservation Act 1958 was basically enacted by Parliament under which Parliament declared that all existing mulki rules or local rules. Mulki is something that we use only for Telangana. In India, invalid. Okay? First declaration is this. Then parliament says it is going to to make provisions for local reservation to some states including AP. Okay? And in this process what it makes is the AP employment rules 1959 if you remember with effect from 21st March 1959 I told this date I told you that this was extended again and again five years they extend 1964 1969 you remember and in this we discussed three sections we discussed section 2 
section 3 section 5 okay section 5 2 3 and 5 were discussed basically 2 stated that mulki will be 15 years it will be basically considered as per the old mulki rules 3 talked about the applicability of this local reservation and it said the local reservation will be applied in non gazette posts you remember and for every uh, three posts in secretariat and hod the second post will be reserved for locals adanta 3 5 said that it will be applicable for 5 years okay and can be extended 5 years at a time we discussed all this okay now what happened is the first interpretation that we get in the court is court says that this section is invalid on what basis first judgment invalid supreme court judgments be invalid basis 16 clause 3 is applicable to entire state okay and not one region therefore we declare this invalid now once this becomes invalid automatically the outcome of this is as a consequence mulki rules 1919 become valid why because the law in which parliament is said we are new we are uh, replacing the old mulki rules has been declared invalid by supreme court when that law becomes invalid automatically the previous law made by the nizam will become valid why will it become valid because 35 b very clearly says it will continue 372 clearly says that until parliament repeals it it will continue so am i in the course of judgments the final judgment that supreme court gave simply said that old mulki rules are valid okay which means that reservation will be applied to all posts in telangana not just gazette posts in the 1919 rules law there was nothing like it is applied only to gazette posts and non gazette posts so it will be applicable to all posts okay and supreme court further said no further appeals the case is closed we are not going to entertain any further appeals this judgment of supreme court actually leads to the jayandra movement okay now we are going through the entire course now listen please see this is the background so sala jung one prime minister made provisions to create employment opportunities for mulkis the first mulki rules were made in 1968 by sala jung one 1884 to 1886 uh, during this period the six nizam mulki rules were formed through the civil service regulations if you remember sixth nizam mulki rules i made you write definition of mulki was given for the first time Maharaja Kishan Prasad's definition also I gave you. According to Maharaja Kishan Prasad, four points untai. This is the definition. Then, 1919, we had the Firmana. Now, November 1949, you remember the JN Chaudhary government made changes to the 1919. Firmana. Then 26 January 1950, the constitution provided constitutional protection to Mulki rules through clause B of article 35. I just told you clause B. Tarvata, 14th June 1950, Velodi government issued a circular declaring that until government comes with a uniform policy, the eligibility of 15 years for Mulki should be followed as a rule. Tarvata, 9th November 1955, Burgula Ramkrishna Rao government formulated the Hyderabad General Recruitment Rules under which they specified. They said a person who is not an Indian national is not eligible for services. One who claims eligibility for employment should have how much local certificate? 15 years. This is basically a clarification of the existing rules. It however stated that the rule regulation of 15 years local residence may be exempted under special situation. What will be the special situation? No mulki available, qualified mulki available or husband is mulki, wife is non-mulki, wife is mulki, husband is non-mulki. Atlantic situation lalo, you can avoid it. Okay. 
now section 119 of uh, states reorganization act i i just told you about this section it stated that in the regions added to the new state the acts under implementation before the merger should be followed in toto ante in totality it should be followed without any change it should be followed okay article 35a as is said privileges conferred on permanent residents with respect to right to employment or immovable property will be continued according to 35b what does 35b say states that any pre constitutional law or right to any of the matters mentioned under 35a what are the matters mentioned under 35a property and employment okay will continue to be for in force until parliament repeals or replaces them now article 372 basically says all the laws in force in the territory of india immediately before the commencement of this constitution shall continue to be in force until they are repealed or removed then kinko ka example chapta when was ipc coded indian penal code Now, 1860, it was coded by Macaulay, the first law commission. Are we still following it even today? Why? Are we not following it? It is the same Indian Penal Code with changes. You know why we are following? Because Parliament never, as a whole, repealed IPC. It only made changes to the IPC. Are you getting it? So this section basically says all laws in force before the commencement of the Constitution will continue till when, till Parliament will make a change to them or till Parliament removes them. And the kind of other Land Acquisition Act, 1894, continued until land. and acquisition rehabilitation resettlement act 2013 so you know they have to be removed by the parliament okay now ap public employment act id act kadu basically these are rules framed by the parliament 21st march it came into force second section declares that will be used in place of existing mulki rules third section will tell where will it be applied in telangana as i said it be applied only to subordinate services and local posts okay and it says that 15 per years should be the eligibility every second job out of third job will be reserved for locals and section 5 says every 5 years it can be reviewed and extended 24th march it was extended first time 25th march it was extended second time two times it was extended now we come to the judgments now listen carefully this is the judgment that we have already discussed in the 1969 agitation the cause of the 1969 agitation justice kuppu swami of ap high court ruled that the geo issued by the government on 30th april will not be applicable to apscb why because apscb is an autonomous body deeniki reaction lo 3rd february 1969 this case was filed by the non mulki teacher of nalgonda who were removed from services on the basis of geo issued on 30th april and justice chinnappa reddy declares that the rules are unconstitutional what rules are unconstitutional mulki rules what is the basis for declaration 16 clause 3 is applicable to the entire state not one region our basis me the he declares mulki rules themselves as invalid now this court case goes to a divisional bench in the court id enta me 1969 lo we came across this okay divisional bench in the high court was comprising of justice pingali jagan mohan reddy and justice aula sambashivara and they said that the mulki rules issued before the commencement of the constitution are valid until parliament repeals or removes them why because this judgment is interpreted as applicable to ap employment rules not to mulki rules okay now 
17th February case is very very important this case was filed on 17th February the judgment came on 28th March so both these points are related to what they are related to AVS Narsimha Rao and others versus garment of AP now remember that the judgment was given by the chief justice headed by bench headed by chief justice justice Hidayatullah he said that article 16 3 uh, on the basis of article 16 3 section 3 of AP employment rules is invalid. Why? Because it is applicable only to one part of the state. I repeat, in this judgment Hidayatullah bench simply says that you cannot have mulki rules in Telangana. Why can't you have mulki rules? Because Telangana is only one part of AP. Va they will become valid only if you give it to, to the entire state. So they are declaring section 3 of AP employment rules as invalid. When you declare section 3 of AP employment rules as invalid, automatically what happens is the previous previous employment rules 1919 rules become valid okay can judgment court court to obtain the mulki rules invalid and chapter the agitation in 1969 gets intensified and central government proposes the eight point formula then again we have another case filed on 9th december p lakshman rao versus government of ap in this case it was the bench was headed by chief justice Kumaraya. It was filed in AP High Court. Okay, and the judgment was actually delivered by Gopal Rao Egbote. You remember I told you about Gopal Rao Egbote. What did I tell you? Politician turned judge. He retired as the Chief Justice of High Court. So Gopal Rao Egbote delivered the judgment on, on behalf of the bench and they said that Section 3 of the AP Employment Rules is unconstitutional is already declared by Supreme Court. When this becomes unconstitutional, Section 2 of the AP Employment Act will also become invalid. So they are declaring that the AP Employment Rules 3, 2 and 3 are invalid. When you have 2 and 3 declared invalid, 5 makes no sense at all. So AP employment rules are invalid. Therefore, the previous Mulki rules will become valid. Okay. Now, 14th February 1972, V. Venkat Reddy versus State of AP was a case filed in Supreme Court in which the, the Supreme Court headed by Justice Obel Reddy declared that Mulki rules will not be applicable after the formation of AP. He, they just said Mulki rules will not be applicable. The only judge who gave a descending judgment is Justice Konda Madhav Reddy. Please remember, you have to remember Justice Konda Madhav Reddy's uh, name because he gave a dissenting judgment. He said, see this case was basically filed in AP High Court. Okay. In this case, there were five judges. Four judges declared Mulki invalid. Ante, this means that local reservation, it could be 1919 or it could be 1959, not applicable. Okay. One judge gave a dissenting judgment. His name is Justice Kunda Madhav Reddy. He said, as Supreme Court declared AP employment rules 1959 invalid, Supreme Court declared it invalid. Therefore, old Mulki rules become valid. This was the judgment given by Justice Kunda Madhav Reddy. Pairlu, judgela pairlu, case names are compulsory ka gurthubet kwali. From what I am teaching you today, you will get at least two questions only from this topic. It is important and it is complicated. Okay. Then, now the last judgment, din tarvat emai tadante, see according to this judgment, no local reservation and this was severely opposed by Telangana okay 1971 we had 
elections and in this election 72 we had election state elections okay in this elections for campaigning indira gandhi gave a speech when she came to telangana the speech was given in varangal azam zahi mills varangal in this speech she request the state government to appoint an advocate and fight the case in the supreme court ap judgment ap high court judgment case ni fight jeman cheptad the cm then was pv narsimha rao now what he does because the prime minister has advised him he files a case in the supreme court unfortunately the advocate who took up the case on behalf of the state government was his close relative bamar the anmata i mean uh, biyankudu he files the he fights the case for the state government in that case mulki rules are declared valid by the the last judgment of the supreme court so andhra people believe that pb narsimha rao has cheated them because his own relative has fought the case for mulki's first reason why mulki movement starts even in tarvata eptagani this is the background so this is it uh, indira gandhi attended a public meeting at azam jahi mills ground in varangal speaking on the judgment she stated that any hurdles in the implementation of mulki rules will be removed she then requested the cm of ap pv narsimha rao to appeal against the high court judgment where in the supreme court on the advice of indira gandhi the state government appealed against the 14th february judgment in the supreme court and the case was represented by k narsingh rao is very important in 1972 in state assembly elections congress secured absolute majority and the center proposed pv narsimha rao's name for cm and he became the cm now 3rd october 1972 in the appeal of the case from high court to supreme court the case appeal name is director of industries and commerce ap government versus v venkat reddy in this case the supreme court bench headed by justice sikri he ruled that mulki rules issued by the nizam in 1919 will become valid and he says that 15 years will be the criteria it will be applicable to all jobs okay not just non gazette post and local post it will be applicable to all jobs and he simply says that no further appeal will be allowed on this judgment this judgment results in the jayandra movement now let me decode the judgment e case law the argument is like this 16 clause 3 says reservations can be given on local basis okay but it does not specify whether it should be given in the for the entire state or only for one part of the state the ap employment rules 1959 are giving local reservation only to one part of the state the bench feels that it should not be given to one part of the state therefore what happens the ap employment rules become invalid okay because the ap employment rules are becoming invalid the declaration by parliament that it is replacing the old mulki rules is becoming invalid the previous mulki rules will become valid did you get it this was the judgment in detail given by the supreme court and this judgment resulted in the jayandra movement now the reactions to this judgment were pv narsimha rao spoke on this verdict and he said that supreme court verdict there is no obstruction restriction to mulki rules and this is final verdict on the controversy and remember pv narsimha rao strictly implemented the judgment this was also a reason why andhra people turn against him he strictly implements the judgment he did not do a favor to mulkis he went by what the court is said but andhra people felt that he was favoring the mulkis so that was one of the reasons why they turn against the cm in fact the 1972 jayandra movement was not against the court it was more against the uh, the chief minister pv narsimha rao as the chief minister okay so is this point clear now tngos what will be the reaction do you think tngos will support or oppose the judgment tngos supported the judgment for your exam who was the tngo president when this judgment came is important it is k ramakrishna reddy are we clear with this the third is andhra people start the jayandra 
moment okay now let tell me quickly what are the articles which are related to the mulki rules that were used by the court for their judgments 16 clause 3 35 ab and 372 how was 16 clause 3 used whether it is applied to the entire state or only part of the state how was 35 a and b used what does 35 a and b say property and public employment rules before commencement of the constitution will continue what does 372 say any law which was in force before the commencement of the constitution will continue until parliament repeals or uh, replaces it okay what is section 119 of uh, uh, states reorganization act 1956 it also tells the same thing it tells whatever previous rules and regulations were there will continue even after the merger of the states okay why was ap employment act 1959 declared invalid by the court in several judgments because it was applicable only to one part of ap whereas it should have been applicable to the entire state ikkad inkoka angle entante see you should remember hyderabad state was an independent state before the merger with andhra state so the mulki rules that were made then even an interpretation are valid because they were made for the state as a whole are you getting me only after the mulki rules were made hyderabad was merged with andhra state so after merger whatever mulki rules you are making should be applicable to the entire state but what did you do you made the ap employment rules applicable only to the telangana region you are getting me that was the reason why supreme court declared it as invalid for your exam the date of the judgment the name of the judges at least the bench which headed it okay the name of the case and what was the judgment are very important i am repeating you will get at least two to three questions only from this part okay